Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're still following me after the last couple of episodes, then I really, really appreciate it. I talked about my market that I was going to in one, and uh, then I shared how bad it was in another. And then in my last video, I tried a um, puddle and swipe that didn't really turn out that great. It was very mediocre. So it's been a week. It's been a stressful week around here because things have not went well. I have been fighting technical issues like crazy. So incredibly frustrated. I mean, I'm just so frustrated. So today I'm going to try a real simple color palette that I think is going to be gorgeous. Uh, but I am trying a really big canvas. So I'm going to uh, flood the canvas. It's a 30 by 40 and uh, I'll get that done and get all the air bubbles out and then we'll meet back up here. Stay with me. Okay, so we're back and I'm working on trying to get better lighting in this uh, space that I have, but oh, so far I haven't done real well with that either. You guys are great for bearing with me. It's such a huge learning curve to all this. So this, like I said, 30 by 40 canvas, I've flooded it in a cream color that I mixed together with white and milky white, uh, both of them by Master's Touch. And I'm going to do a very elegant, hopefully blowout of gold and copper and then I mix gold and silver together for a platinum. And so I'm hoping that it's not too, too subtle, but I really, I don't think it will be. I, I saw a picture of, it was actually of like a daisy and it was all in these colors. It had a little bit of dark in it. And when, once I get it on here, if I think it needs it, I can always add a little bit of black, but um, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try with these. I think this, I'm hoping that this copper is going to be dark enough that I won't need, I won't need a black or a brown. But anyway, we'll see. I'm gonna kind of do a, uh, just a line, sweeping line through it and leave quite a bit of negative space. And so we'll see how it goes. Um, start pouring. I think I'm gonna do the copper first and make it the, the base against the cream. Um, there was, an insanely amount of air bubbles in this because I mixed it today and oh I tell you I just can't tell you how frustrated I've been today it has been one of the worst so far since I started just roadblock after roadblock and things not going smoothly and just beyond. I can't even, I can't even describe how frustrated. So, and my husband is gone right now as we speak to go get three of my grandchildren to come stay the night. It's spring break and I'm like, stop and get dinner. I have no food and <laughs> I've got to get this done. So, but I have been really excited about this particular one. I've, I've been kind of mulling over it for a while I'm thinking oh I think that would be very very elegant so we'll see Torch these. y'all have been doing better than me and thank you for letting me indulge in all my complaining all right let's blow this big baby out and see what we get
Okay, so I underestimated how long my uh, hair dryer cord would reach. I just about couldn't get it. But, guys, this is pretty. Really pretty. I mean, I gotta do some, you know, finagling a little bit here, if that's a word. But gosh, the sails are gorgeous, the color is gorgeous. I think I might have finally gotten something to go right today. I'm going to torch this out and get rid of these air bubbles. And then I'm going to get you a beautiful close-up shot of it. And you can tell me what you think. Thanks for Okay, guys. This is the right side. It's still wet, but... I think it turned out really pretty. It's good cells in there and get you a big shot. And there we go. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it.